case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Taking his controversy to the district court, Mitchell argued his principal claim under the ADA. He proposed that the school district should offer him retraining for a more sedentary position as a reasonable accommodation due to his disability. Contrary to his favor, his previous claims to the Workers' Compensation Board and Social Security Administration stating his total disability and inability to work were brought to attention. The district court dismissed Mitchell's claim and ruled in favor of the school district. It held the view that Mitchell's suggested accommodations seemed unreasonable and did not mandate the school district to remodel the head custodian position to a sedentary one. Standing his ground, Mitchell endeavored to overturn the decision by the district court through an appeal. Regrettably for him, the appellate court concurred with the district court. Citing the doctrine of judicial estoppel, the court barred Mitchell from asserting his ability to work in a position other than a sedentary one. He had previously declared himself as totally disabled, which negated his possibility of performing the essential functions of the head custodian position even with reasonable accommodation. The court made it clear that Mitchell's contradictory statements had trapped him in the snare of judicial estoppel, forestalling him from claiming that he could perform the essential functions of his job. The school district's decision to dismiss Mitchell's claim was hence upheld, and the school district was hailed victorious. His plight serves as a stark reminder of the potential repercussions when disparate claims are made in official capacities, a resolution that ended this tale in the annals of legal history. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.